Polio cases are on the rise here in Florida. State health officials are reporting an increase in cases and even deaths right here in the Tampa Bay area. It is concerning. You get Vibrio from contaminated water and it can lead to flesh eating bacteria. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott joins us live now from Tampa with the details on what's behind this uptick. Good morning, Larissa. Hi, good morning, Deanne and Andrew. Well, it's the storms. That's why doctors say they've seen an unusually high number of cases here, and they want people to know what the symptoms are. Vibrio is a bacteria that lives in brackish water, salt water, warm water. The recent hurricanes have made Vibrio cases more prevalent in Tampa Bay. The bacteria showing up in floodwaters and runoff too. Any water that's not treated is potentially carries bacteria. The Florida Department of Health has reported that several counties that had storm impacts have also seen spikes in cases, including Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, Sarasota, Citrus, and Hernando. And there's about 80,000 cases in the U.S. every year. Last year, there were 46 Vibrio cases in Florida. This year, they've almost doubled with 81 cases so far and 16 deaths. And this Vibrio type of bacteria can cause severe infections. You can get gastrointestinal issues if you drink contaminated water or eat contaminated food. We also see it from raw shellfish, so oysters, uh, raw shrimp or undercooked seafood that can all carry that bacteria. Much more severe infections happen if you get it through a wound or a scratch and the bacteria gets into your body that way. Symptoms include a rash, swelling, pain, redness, fever and warmth. And sometimes it even looks like that flesh eating bacteria, although um, it's more severe if it becomes systemic and people can drop their blood pressure and have septic shock. Um, and it's more severe in people with liver disease or immunocompromised people, diabetics, people that have uh, other underlying you know, problems like cancer. Doctors encourage people to stay out of flood water and standing water and just avoid all bodies of water if you have any open wounds or scratches. It's concerning when we have storms like we've had where people have floods and, and water standing they don't know what really is under that water because you can't see. And if you develop any of these symptoms, you're encouraged to call your doctor immediately. The earlier it's treated, the better. I'm live in Tampa this morning. Larissa Scott, ABC Action.